Did you know that churn is one of the biggest threats to any recurring revenue business? Whether you're selling subscriptions to Razors or usage-based cloud services, when your existing customers leave, it costs real money to replace them. With that being said, let's review five important ways to reduce churn in your business. My name is Makaya and I'm from Chargent. If you are a business leader that uses Salesforce to manage your organization, then you are in the right place. First way to lower churn is be picky. Choose the right customers. Not every customer is right for every product or service. Just imagine if you lead a subscription software company with a costly support team that is highly skilled, when you sign up customers who do not have the right people or the skills to use your product, they become a burden on support. And this is gonna cause you to hire more support teammates. These less sophisticated customers in this example are likely unprofitable to this imaginary SaaS company. There are many other examples. So if you were to take on a customer that is too big and they just expect too much of you, then you risk not giving enough attention to all of your other customers. And this too can lead to increased churn. Know who your ideal customer is and how to attract them. And this is an effective way to improve your customer retention, which obviously reduces your churn. Also, knowing when to say no to a potential customer that's also gonna improve your churn numbers. All right, the second way to reduce your churn is to be transparent. Few things can sour a relationship more quickly than dishonesty. I have heard it said that trust is earned in drops and lost in buckets. Now, you might feel that you're being honest by including those details in the fine print. However, the reality is that when all the details are not front and center, your customers are likely not gonna see them. So you might be of the opinion that you're being clear, but your opinion isn't what matters here. The most important thing is that your customers, they know what to expect from you. So to show you some more transparency, I want you to know that we use these videos to drive new leads to our sales teams. So I want you to go ahead and download our checklist on the 10 ways to make payments safe, easy, and profitable using the link in the description of this video. And then just sit back and watch. Our sales team is gonna be reaching out to you. The number three way to reduce churn is being present. And when you do this, you keep the value that you deliver to your customers top of mind. You wanna make it very difficult for them to forget about you because they're seeing so much value out of your product. When your value is present, customers will stay with you longer. Smart organizations with tens of thousands or even millions of customers, they develop what's known as a tech touch customer success model. Now, this approach is highly focused on being a high value resource for their customer. So examples of this type of thing are customer journey email series, a well-developed knowledge base, and just well-written documentation in general. This tech-driven model for a high quality customer experience serves many subscription businesses very well. So as just a quick example, when anyone signs up for one of the popular shaving clubs out there in your first box, they actually send along a fun to read and highly informative comic book-esque instructions for how to shave and, and groom properly, which uh, some of them guys need. And I gotta admit, I learned a couple of things from that communication. In that case, that company was present and they showed value. And I believe I stayed a customer of theirs for a little bit longer because of it. All right, number four is be communicative. One straightforward way to be communicative is to reply quickly when your customers reach out. Now, this can be pricey and it can be challenging. However, in this age where each of us has become accustomed to instant gratification, your customers, they simply expect this from you. So do be mindful that not every service requires the service provider to be talking with their customers constantly. Read the room, as they say. Give your customers the Goldilocks amount of attention. Not too much and not too little just the right amount. Learn the right communication cadence for your customer, and you will keep your customers happy for longer. All right, our fifth and final way to reduce your churn is don't be passive. And by this I mean, you shouldn't let passive revenue churn eat away at your customer base. Passive churn or involuntary churn is when your customers don't intend to leave, uh, but they simply fail to pay for some reason. Sometimes they're for reasons that are just slightly outside of their control. Maybe their email address changed, maybe their zip code changed, maybe their card had just simply expired. So to combat this involuntary churn, I recommend automating your collections process. Charging customers, they leverage our account updater feature, which sends automated alerts to your customers, asking them to update their card before it expires. The Chargent Automated Collections product 
will automatically retry cards and send emails when those retries fail, asking for another payment source. We have designed the solution to actively pursue your customers that would otherwise become passive churn. Your customers signed up because they need what you have. It's your responsibility to help them keep your service and to see that value that they signed up to get. Paying your bill should be the easiest thing that they do in any given workday. Chargent helps you do just that. And now I want you to check out this video here where we're gonna take a closer look at automating your collections process. My name is Micaiah and at Chargent, we're dedicated to helping Salesforce customers like you improve your customer retention and automate your collections. Remember, we are always here to help.